Are you having trouble doing a lot of things but not getting the right things done? If so, this week's episode is for you. We're going to continue the conversation on how to set soul aligned goals that truly light you up from the inside out so that you can focus on the right things in your life and in your career. So this week we're going to talk about B in the formula, the second step. Last week I spoke about the first part, which is A, all about achievement. What is it that you want to achieve? If you missed that video, make sure you click back and you go and watch that first. I'll wait for you if you need it. Okay, once you've watched that video, come back and we're going to talk about B. So the B part of the formula is to explore because. So fill in this statement, I want to achieve X goal that you have because why? What are those because statements? Is it because you want to feel stronger? Is it because you want to stretch yourself and grow? Is it because you need to reach that goal for some deeper reason? Dig a little bit deeper. Why is that goal important to you? And this is really the missing piece in goal setting. Too often we set goals that we think we should be working on, right? The usual, lose 10 pounds, go for that next promotion, maybe take that holiday. And these goals, whilst they can be really great, they're not necessarily the right ones for you that are gonna make you feel like you're living a life that you really love or moving you towards your deeper purpose because you're just doing what kind of we've been told to do. So for you, maybe losing 10 pounds isn't the right next option. Maybe, you know, going for that next promotion isn't the right goal for you and instead you should be exploring how to get your ladder against the right wall. And maybe taking a holiday is something that you don't need to do and you need to crack on with your work. I don't know where you are in your life right now, but it's important to look at what is right for you. Now, the because is really important because so many of us don't stop to ask this. And it was really interesting. I was on a call today with a client and we'd done a lot of work and at this stage we'd come up with a list of options and that could potentially work for her in terms of pursuing um, so that she could you know step into that higher path and purpose for herself and when I went deeper with her and we said okay well why do you want to achieve that what's that going to do for you why is this important to you it was very clear that the things that she was stressing about and thinking that she should be doing actually weren't money-making business ideas at all. They were just passion projects that it was time to kind of say, it's all right, and let them go. Whereas this other idea that she had, she was brought to tears because she just loved it so much and she really, really had a heart for it. And it was what was gonna bring her the deepest sense of fulfillment, even though it was on paper, perhaps the most challenging, the one that she hadn't done before and required her to really dig deep and really step into more of herself to be able to do that. And so we, we saved a lot of time because we weren't trying to monetize the little things. We realized that that wasn't the way for it to go. And she had one big focus. Same with you and your goals. You can focus on that one thing. What is that one goal that you want to work on and why is it important to you? Who will it impact in your life and make better? Number one. Number two, what will it do for you? Either physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, what will that do for you? And what is that? When you say, why is it important to me? What answers come to you? Is it just because it will make you feel great? Is it just because you're going to get that next milestone and that next notch on the ladder? What does it look like for you? And ask yourself, what will that make me feel when I achieve that goal? Because these feelings are actually your dedication, dedicated words for success. And everybody has a different feeling and a different word. So I want to hear from you. Why is it that you're going after that goal? What is it going to do for you? What is it going to do for others? Why do you want it? And how is it going to make you feel when you achieve that goal? When you can ask yourself those questions and make sure that they feel like a whole hell body yes, then you know that you're on the right track. So leave a comment for me below and let me know what you have on your goal list and why it's important to you. I would love to hear what you're working on. In the meantime, stay tuned for next week where we're going to go deeper because once we know why you want your goal, there's still two more steps that you need to do before you can achieve it. So stay tuned and have a great week.